What's up guys? Car boot vid pickups and stuff. Um yeah, I've there's been absolute tons of boot sales going on. I live in Essex but sort of, I still know Kent quite well and there's just so many car boots on. I literally I've lived in Essex now for over two years and I'm furloughed from work at the moment. I could go to a boot sale every day of the week. I was going to go to one this morning, but it started to rain, even though now it's like it's bloody 35 degrees outside. Um, I could have gone, gone to one yesterday, Thursday, but I ended up drinking too much JD and then woke up at five and I still felt drunk. So I fell asleep and then woke up at nine and then it's not, it wasn't worth going. Um, but all of this stuff that I've got here was from this Wednesday and it's a huge one in um, Essex and it's on Sundays as well uh, there's just but it's so much competition you have to be really lucky there um, or just look slightly um, in the cracks and um, at the sides which is where I've got some, like a nice pickup I've got here but um, yeah it's great it's nice to be out and about and having to wander around in the sun and um, just picking up some great bargains um, you know, I brought back half of the field with me. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just a mixture of, you know, I, I collect video games, as everyone, if people watched any of my videos know. Um, and uh, records, a uh, nice big stack of vinyl over there. Um, but yeah, I just like to buy stuff and, and make a bit of money on the side. Um, and that's what I've done here. Most of these things are pretty good pickups. So, um, we're going to start off with. I'm going to start off with a real one to be on the lookout for because it surprised me, but it just sort of made sense. Everyone's been going nuts looking for Little Britain, but that phase has already got that fad has already gone. Um, I was lucky. I managed to sell three sets of the Little Britain se seasons. Um, I got like 120 quid for three sets, which was insane. Excuse me. But I was in the charity shop. Actually, so sorry, these are from charity shop, these ones. And um, they literally do have as many DVDs as you want for a pound. So I took like an entire bag full of stuff and just gave them four quid. There were some games in there as well. But um, I'm not going to take the piss, but I go, it's my local little charity shop and they just get so much media. But yeah, they had all these Big Brother ones. And then I realised there was a bit of controversy on the TV because they'd been re-showing it. And um, people have been complaining, as people do, about fucking everything at the moment. Um, but yeah, they had these. And so I bought them. And um, I listed them on eBay. And I got 40 quid for them within a day. So, um, yeah. This is one to be on the lookout for. Yeah. Really good pickup. So £40, and they cost me like 50p for the four. So yeah, it's a nice bit of nice bit of change in my pocket to spend on other things. Anyway, right. So, oh, shit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pack those up and send them out. So everything else here was um, was boot sale fodder. So um, and they're all pretty good flips. So I've got this. Um, and again, it's not like you. I'm never the first one in the boot of a car. I'm never the first one. A lot of the time, I'm not. Um, and but people get people leave stuff because they think it's too expensive. Like a guy had this on the table, and there was tons of people there. And um, if this had been a couple of quid, it would have gone. But he wanted a tenner. And um, I said, "Will you take seven quid?" And he said, "Yes, yeah, straight away." But um, this is like brand new inside, three hand sets and the chargers, and um, that's between fifty and sixty five, seventy quid. That, which is nuts so um you know a nice a nice like 50 pound plus bonus in pocket there you know that's almost half a day's wages if i was bloody slugging my guts out so um yeah easy 50 50 pound night hopefully um this was this was smart i'm gonna have to test this little bugger out so um you get the you get the guys selling, and um, everything's 
this wasn't too bad, it was just the packaging was ripped. But everything is fucking scruffy and horrible. And it's like there's cables and wires and you just think everything they're selling isn't going to work. Um, so I got this and I got those two slightly smashed up Wii consoles. And um, as I always do, like before this even happened, before Wii stuff went mental, I've always, I always pick up Wii's if they're cheap and I sell them at Christmas. But, um, you know, everyone's gone batshit crazy for them at the moment. So I think that market might be dead. Um, but yeah, so I bought this and those two. These were £4 each. And then this was a fiver. And, um, you know, they don't like, uh, a lot of these still, they don't really like to go down too much. Um, but what I managed to do was I managed to get them to throw a nunchuck in. So actually, and they wanted a fiver each for those and I got them for £4 each. So hey ho. Yeah, it's a little hoary um, wired PS4 mini. Really smart. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to plug this in and give it a go. But to be honest, I don't know why anyone would really want to use it. Is it just because it just feels, because they do feel amazing. Plus also it looks like um, a Switch controller. But, um, yeah. I might have to get in. I'm going to give it a go, but if not, I think that's um, a £20 note. So that wasn't a bad little buy, but I couldn't leave it when I saw you know, I don't often see all these stuff at the car boot sale. Um, but yeah, God, I'm dropping everything. Uh, the Wii consoles, I just, for £4 each, I'm willing to take a chance. And um, because they're really, really scruffy and if they are working and there's console only, I could probably get about 15, 20 pound each. But what I do is I just stack them up, buy the extra doors, finish them all off, clean them up. I've got plastic polish and I'm polish, polishing them so they're all um, as neat as they can be, add all the bits and pieces and then I'll just sell it, yeah, sell them at Christmas. But these two, and I just thought, right, I'm gonna do the, uh, and I've been really lucky with this lately. I bought four Wii consoles last week and there was two discs in the consoles one was Wii Sports and I paid like 20 quid for four of these and they were smashed up as well like they looked rough and there was a Wii, a Wii Sports in one of them so that was like that's what's that like 10 15 quid at the moment so that's almost paid for them back and um and then there was another rubbish gaming one but yeah these two I did the old disc test in these and I got really lucky there was um Wii Sports result in one and it's good, it doesn't need to be resurfaced. And then there was just a, a Wii Sports in the other. So it's great. So it's like, like in, in I know it's disc only, but in CEX, they're fucking selling this for £26 at the moment. So if I, online, if I can get like 25 quid for the pair of those, I might even keep that to bundle with a console later on in the year, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's no, great. So literally, they can, I can literally just, if they're smashed, I can just, like, broken, I can just pile them up and then sell them as spares and repairs when I get enough of them. Because these two these two discs will pay for everything and I'll be in profit anyway. So that was quite smart. Um, and then also, I'm, I'm just, I'm keeping on picking up um, PS2 consoles. Uh, these were less than £10 each, actually, because one came with a controller and one came with a load of other bits and pieces, like... A ton of like so so games which I can actually grab some of them. I can grab some of the games. So like one of these came with um with this bunch of games and all I'm gonna do with these games is because they're not nonsense but they're just not fantastic. I'm just gonna trade all these into um to CEX um because like that's three quid at the moment. I think that's Either a pound or two pound. That's about two pound. I think that's a pound, 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 and two pounds. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's about a tenner's worth in trade there. So you know that that almost paid for everything back anyway. So um, I would go and show. I'm going to do another video because I've only been going to the boot sales for like I think it's about two and a half weeks now since they've reopened, and I have got an absolute boatload of um, sex. CEX stuff to trade in, it'd be absolutely nuts. You know, there's so much out there, and it's just price wise as well. You know, if I'm buying 
um, literally 100 DVDs for a fiver. And then, you know, a few of them are worth a couple of quid and then lots of them are worth 10, 20 P's. I don't care. I'll just take them all into CEX. I'll get like 25, 30 quid in credit. All adds up. It's cracking. I'm not the one who's having to stand there and scan them all in. Um, but yeah, that's another video. So, so yeah, them, them. Um, and as I say, I'm just going to pile all these up and then wait until about October, go through, test them all, and then they'll be going on uh, Amazon probably. Um, okay, this this was a nice pickup. This was just jam, like jammy, lucky. Um, there was a lady. She pulled up at this. This boot sale is massive. It's like I don't know, fifty rows of cars, and it's only it's only the Wednesday. On Sunday, it's even bigger. I think this Sunday is going to be absolutely freaking massive. And um, phones ringing. Annoying. Um, hold on, pause it. Oh, that's so annoying. I moved into this house two years ago and there's a there's a, a phone on one of the walls and I've never used it. I don't even have the actual old house number for this for this place. And it rings every now and again. It's freaking freaky. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Um there was a lady she pulled up at the side of this mat the cobbles was massive. And then when people just start to take little side bits on that, and they're where you can get like the gems, because they tend to be more genuine sellers because they've turned up slightly later. And um, everyone else is running around, and I just got as uh, she put the box down. And um, yeah, it was just PS. Um, unfortunately, it's not the backwards compatible one. It's only got two USBs on there. Um, but. I started. I saw the games first. Didn't even see the console underneath everything, and um, yeah, some really good titles there. Um, that's a good one. That's just in trade. I think that's a tenner. Um, Last of Us is doing really well at the moment. There's a couple more. That's a cracking title. That's trades in well or um, sells okay. And then there's some like the Q Force Ratchet one. That's good. There's a bit of nonsense there. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take everything out. And then, like this, this, that. That's actually sealed, so I might try and sell that separately. And then a couple of these, I'm just going to bundle them with the console and um, and sell that. But yeah, so all the games were a pound each. You know, I remember before this, did it, no one got that really excited about um, PS3 games for a pound. But now I'm like, oh my God, they're only a quid. <laughs> um, the controller was a pound. And it's actually just about sexable um, because you can you can still see all the numbers and that. But so I because I haven't tested this and the console was a fiver, so um, I don't even know. I'm glad I don't know. I turned it on and it did it did turn on. So I'm gonna have to give it a full test. But that's cracking. So I paid. What did I pay? One two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four. Uh, I paid 20, 23, 24 pounds for all of that lot, which is great. You know, since, yeah, as I said, I'm gonna, I can get a tenner, but if I sold it, I'll probably get 20 quid for that on loan. So that was, a, that was a cracking deal. Literally, but this is how quick I was pulling the games out, and then I saw the console, I pulled the console out, and then I heard someone walk past and goes, oh, I missed on that. And, you know, because as soon as you get, there's always someone right in your grave, just there, boom, ready to take it. If you're not there, it will be gone. Someone else would have had that within... A minute of me not being there so you know it used to be that that the, those you those sorts of scenarios used to happen a lot more but um yeah it's becoming harder and harder because there's just to so many more people going out to the booties which you know is how it is um so but yeah nice i i like that one <laughs> um also from that same lady dropping other things I bought this box of Lego, and I just got this purely to resell, um, and it was two pound. So that that will be a twenty pound note, which is again is good. Um, excuse me. I also I dabble in shoes if they're decent ones. Um, I got this nice pair of uh, leather, white leather. Converse, they're size 11, which is, which, 
sorry, this size nine. Yep, they're, they're size nine. Um, I don't know. I paid a five for them, but I need to. Oh, the laces are inside. Oh, crap. Yeah, um, that's got to be 25 quid. Easy, you know. And it's so easy. I'll just lace them up, take out the photos, boom, done. So it's another, another 20 quid profit. These are the most popular trainers at the moment, the, the classic vans. These have got a bit of um, extra to them. I'm not sure. It's almost like Galaxy. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, these, these are so popular. And they're in decent. I know they look a bit crappy, but I'm just going to chuck them in the wash. And um, I paid a five for those. And um, size six, they should they should be 20, 25 pound. Probably 25 quid, because they are literally so popular. And they're like a bit of an in-between size, so, you know, they're not too small. Um, obviously, they'd be better if they were size nine or ten, and they'd fly, but they'd be more than 25 quid. But I'm happy. I'm happy to spend a fiver and, and make a 20 pound note. Just for a very minimal work. Um, uh, these um, DMs are awesome. Um, you have to be careful because there's a lot of fakes out there. The way I'd normally test is I just... Because the guy I bought these from, he had these and then he had another pair which had the same Dr. Martin's airwear here like... Um, like where well you tug them on to your foot um, but they were fake all day long I just give the sole a squeeze and if it stays rock hard then you know you, you pretty much know that they're going to be genuine the fake ones are just so shite they will just literally you'll, you'll push that in and you, the sole will bend upwards and just push into the shoe these, these are like rock solid um, but these are proper vintage, almost. They're the genuine made in England ones, which always means that they're worth more, as everyone knows. Um, made in England. I think they're about size six. It would have been on the inside here. But I can't really make it out. I think it would have said it at the top there. Um, my girlfriend's a size five, so I'm going to get her to try them on, and if they're... Um, if they're too big, then I know they're probably a six. A six. I did the old trick of measuring them from there to there, but measure the plates, but I'm, I want to be 100% sure. But yeah, I paid £20 for those. Um, and because they're proper vintage, it even says on there, see, 1993, which is nuts. 1993, that's when I first started going to rock concerts. I'm getting old. Yeah, so I paid 20 quid for those. They're absolutely in superb condition. Um, I think I'll make a £50 note profit on that. I think I'll get 70 quid for them because they're so nice. 70, 80 quid. Um, yeah, so again, you know, it's what makes it worth getting up and going around the boot sales. Um, this is just a punt. Um, I like to buy little random odd things. Um, TVs always do quite well and also football stuff obviously um, but this is just like a little tiddler screen it's so random it's got a little remote control as well I took it out and had a look um, but I looked on eBay and um, I think there is one actually the bloke had it listed for 30 quid and it didn't go but this is the sort of thing I don't mind because it's boxed and it's perfect I'll just give it a quick test out and then I'll just, yeah, I'll just list it. I paid, I can't remember if I offered five, and then he said eight, and then I said seven. So I think I'll give him seven quid. It was either seven or eight quid for it. But again, I don't mind spending seven quid, eight quid, if I'm going to make like 20, 25 pound profit for something, which is quite easy to photo. And then, um, you yeah, know, it's so easy just to, just to put a bit of bubble around it and stick it in another box, and then boom, it's gone. But yeah, just a random little thing. Uh, some Liverpool fan might buy it just to smash it up. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Um, a couple of random things. I bought these. Uh, I always like selling Lemony Snicket's books, 
Um, it's nice to get the complete box set because um, they sell really well on Amazon. I've sold one before on there, but um, yeah, I paid a tenner for these books. It was a full set apart from eight, but I've got a couple. I had a couple of spare ones upstairs, which I knew that's why I bought these because I knew that I had some of them up there, and I think I had to add eight to it, so I was quite lucky I did have it upstairs. Um, but yeah, so that cost me like a tenner, and um, I think I should be able to get 30 quid for the full set, which is quite cool. And I've got this random one which I had upstairs, I'm going to add to it when I take the photograph. Um, okay. Um, box of nonsense of Wii bits and PlayStation and stuff. Uh, I've got a Wii Fit ball for £3 and it's in cracking condition, so that would be a Christmas saver. Unless prices are still good now, I think it's probably, you know. I suppose people can't go to the gym yet. Not that bloody a wee fit board actually helps you get to get fit. It's just a, I don't know. Uh, this is really nice. I've had these in the past. It's um, a little Fidelity record player. Uh, I don't know if they're from the seventies. I think so. But yeah, it's really nice. I've got a, I've got to test it. But it only cost me three quid. And um, you, know, you see people with those uh, Crosley cruisers, and they cost like thirty pound or fifty pound or whatever. This is a better little record player than that. So um, yeah, I'm, that's cracking, and it's so easy to uh, to test it and um, to stick it on. Yeah, and it's um, I assume it's direct drive as well, so it doesn't need a belt. I think, I assume, I think that's what it is, direct drive, so, you know, I had a record player the other day and the belt, the belt had just literally disintegrated and melted into the unit, it was just, you know, it was gross. Um, I still sold it as spares repairs, someone bought it. Yeah, so that cost me £3, and I think I should get 20 25 quid for that, as long as it's tested and working. Um, and then a bit of electronic stuff. This is just random from the same woman I got that from. Um, she said that she had loads of electrical stuff there, like earlier. Like I got to her quite late, and um, but a lot of electronics, a lot, a lot of the more modern electronics get bought up, uh, bought up to be sent to Africa. And you see the guys at the boot sales going around, just basically as soon as a, as soon as they just piling up TVs and like they don't even know if they work. They just buying them as cheap as they can, stacking them up higher, and then just shipping all this crap to um, to Africa. And um, which is, you know, it's great. You can make money and it gets rid of some of the junk from out of this country. If it can help someone else out, you know, it will go into homes in uh, in other countries, then, then great. But, but they obviously don't want this older stuff like those and that, which is great. And um, this was a uh, fiver. It's sort of, not didn't put me off, but the fact that it's a WH Smith thing. Um, and so I sort of thought, is this one of the things, yeah, that you'd plug up, you'd put with your, I don't know, what were they, Amstrad, Spectrum and things like that. I don't I don't know. Um, yeah, it just looks like a bit more of a complicated tape player for a, yeah, one of those old computer systems. Even that was slightly before my time. Master System was was my was my starting point. Um, but yeah, so this is good. I paid a fiver. Um, it's nice and clean. I always I, I'm not worried. A lot of the time, tape players will stop working because of the bands, the dry the drive belts. But this, as long as they look relatively clean, I'm quite happy to pick them up. Um, but yeah, that was a fiver. I think that could be. 20 25 pound so not bad not bad at all um yeah that's about it really oh and i bought a, a humongous bag of um warhammer books but there's 20 in there and i think um apart from three or four they're all sealed but i paid two pound each for them so it was like 40 pound so i'm not sure whether i've overpaid but yeah, you don't. I ain't gonna lose any money, that's for sure. I saw someone sold a, a much bigger bundle for like 
multiple hundreds of pounds. I just don't think there's enough here to, to warrant you know a bigger price. I think people like to buy the whole thing or near to. But yeah, yeah, there's an absolute, there's a ton of them that weighed a ton. This is why I'm glad that I've got a van. I can just buy anything I want and just chuck it in there. Um, but yeah, so yeah. But yeah, so like proper old random mix of stuff as usual. But I love it, you know. Hopefully the weather will be right tomorrow. I've got, I've got a massive booty to go to tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I'll be back to the one I went to on Wednesday. Or there's a little local one. So this is the thing in Essex, you have to make... I've got three little ones near me, and then there's a massive one down the road. So what I tend to do is I I skip I go I skip around the three smaller ones, and then finish off at the massive one and just see if I can sweep up any odds and sods, you know DVDs and like iffy games that I can I know I can make it like a quid or two in trade at CX, just to finish up the day. So yeah, um, been waffling on for twenty five minutes, but um, yeah. Hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Hope you're staying a metre apart or whatever the rule is at the moment. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Take care.